Hey, it's Megan from Renewing All Things, and today we're going to quickly go over the main key points and takeaways from the Body Ecology Diet Book. It's an amazing book full of um, just life-changing information about how to heal your body and really how to just feel and look your best from the inside out. And the five key concepts that we're going to look at today from this that the book explains are the importance of balancing expansion and contracting foods. Um, the importance of alkaline and acid forming foods, the importance of cleansing and how you do that, and how important an 80-20 lifestyle is, and I'll get into what that means, and the life-changing benefits of fermented foods. So the first key concept is all about expansion and contraction. So what this means is that some foods expand the body and some foods contract the body. So foods with salt, like animal products, um, eggs, cheese, contract the body. And foods with sugar, like sweets and fruits, expand the body. And what our body needs is an equal balance of both contracting and expanding foods to actually feel healthy, have energy, and feel vitality. So the problem is... People these days are either eating way too many contracting foods or way too many um, expanding foods. And when you do that, your body's always trying to get back to equal balance by craving the opposite food. So if you eat too much salt or animal food, you'll start craving sweets uh, to make a balance. And so that's kind of a lot of times if you crave sweets after meals or anything, it's because you are you didn't really have an equal balance of expanding and contracting foods and your body's just trying to get back in balance. So stress is one thing that really causes our body to contract, which is why we crave candy and alcohol, expanding foods when we're stressed out. So an action step for this concept is just to practice putting together balanced uh, plates to create a balanced body. So what that kind of looks like is just filling your plate with tons of greens and vegetables and then and then a small sized portion of protein like eggs, chicken, beef, buffalo, um, and then a palm size of carbohydrates like complex carbohydrates like sweet potato or squash. That way you have a balanced plate and your body um, has an equal amount of expanding and contracting foods to feel its best. All right, number two is acid and alkaline. So acid and alkaline foods, I'm sure you've heard about this. When you have too much acidity in your body, it's, that's forms the perfect environment for yeast and virus and cancer cells and other parasites to thrive. That's a great environment for them. So to fight this, um, basically the principle you want to keep in mind is that 20% of the foods on your plate should be acid forming and 80% should be alkaline forming. So great alkaline foods, all vegetables, all green, ocean vegetables, um, grain like seeds like millet and quinoa, sea salt, um, lemons, limes, berries, apple cider vinegar, everything you would kind of think is just alkaline. Um, and acid foods aren't bad, you just want to have a balance of them compared to the alkaline. So you really, you want acid foods like animal foods, good proteins, good oils, um, good healthy fats. Um, you do want to try to avoid some sugar, vegetable oils, candy, soft drinks, flours, um, refined sugar, all of that kind of stuff that you probably already know by now. So the action step for acid and alkaline balance is to just try making 70 to 80 percent of your plate alkaline foods and then 20 percent acid foods. So fill up your plate with veggies and greens and then have your protein and have your grains as 20 percent. All right step key point number three is cleansing and cleansing is something that's misunderstood so we all have peaks and valleys throughout our lives the valleys are periods of cleansing that we should be grateful for because after the cleansing is over, our bodies will be free of damaging toxins, which leads to a lifetime of health and strength. So this is what happens. When organs of elimination become overwhelmed with toxins, what they do is they lodge these 
toxins somewhere in our cells, tissues, or muscles, usually where we have a genetic weakness. So in an attempt to maintain integri integrity, the body organizes cleansing, forcing the toxins out, toxins out in some disruptive form like a fever, cold, rash, acne, or some kind of other illness. And here's the thing. If if you're cleansing and you try to suppress it with a drug like an antibiotic or cold medicine, that drives the toxins deeper into the body. So kind of what this means is when, you, when you're having a cold or when you're sick, it means that your body, that's actually a good sign. Instead of trying to look at it as a bad thing, it's actually a good sign. Your body's actually cleansing out some toxins that are, that are lodged in your cells. So when you have a cold or anything, the best thing that we can do is try to help it instead of stop it. And then she goes and talks a lot of just about how important cleansing is to maintain regular health and a healthy immune system. Um, so just taking a time to cleanse once or twice a year, that could look a lot of different ways. Um, I, I can link to different kinds of cleanses you can do depending on what season of life you're in, man, woman, all that kind of stuff. Intermittent fasting is really good to practice every once in a while, depending on how healthy your hormones are, which basically just means eating in a eight-hour gap, so you have a long block between dinner and breakfast. The easiest way to do this is to try to just keep at least 12 hours before your dinner and your breakfast. 12 hours or more is the best. The reason this is great is because it allows your body lot of time to cleanse, heal, repair. When you're not allowing that time in between meals, your body won't cleanse and heal like it should. So it's actually very, very healing to get as much time as you can between dinner and breakfast. So your action step is the next time you do get sick, instead of trying to suppress it with symptoms and actually pushing it into your body, try to help it. Eat tons of alkaline food, drink tons of water to help flush it through, to help get everything out. This will actually get it out of your body for good and make you stronger than before instead of lodging it deeper into your system and having to deal with it again in the future. All right, this is my favorite. So the 80-20 life. If you get anything out of this, these, are just, these two principles are the greatest thing to try out. So one, eat until you're 80% full, leaving 20% available for digesting. So we know that digesting takes up most energy in our body. And usually we're just eating all of the time or we're eating too much. So our body's just constantly, constantly digesting, which means it's not leaving room for detoxification or healing. So when you eat until you're 80% full, it gives your body, um, it gives your body enough energy to do the rest of your other systems that you need. And number two is that we already learned this, 80% of your food should be alkaline, which means land or sea vegetables basically, and 20% can be animal protein or grain-like seeds or starchy vegetables. So two things, 80% full and 80% vegetables. So your action step is Load every meal you can with vegetables, basically. Once you make that a habit, your life will change forever. And then, of course, eating very, very slow. Because people ask me, well, how do I know when I'm 80% full? Well, you got to eat very slow. <laughs> it doesn't have to be crazy slow, but just take time to actually taste your food, chew it, enjoy it, and you'll be so surprised at how much better you feel afterwards. All right, the fifth and final key point from this book is the incredible life-changing benefits of fermented foods. So cultured vegetables or fermented foods contain um, probiotics and enzymes and minerals that help in digestion, eliminate toxins, restore and maintain a healthy eco ecosystem. And we talk about this all the time, but we know the health of our body is determined by the bacteria that live inside of us. So there's three types of bacteria that are in us, pathogenic, which is bad bacteria, beneficial bacteria, and neutral. So what we need is more good bacteria in our body than bad. 
Most, a lot of people today have something called dysbiosis, which means more bad bacteria than good, and it causes tons of problems in the body. So things that cause that are antibiotics, birth control, sugar, and vegetable oils, all kill the good bacteria. Probiotic pills are great, but they're not as powerful as fermented foods. Fermented foods contain 10 times more healthy bacteria than any pill or capsule. So basically what fermented foods are, they're our nature's antibiotic. They heal our body, they protect our body from viruses, the outside, um, bacteria, they detoxify our body, and they just keep us healthy. So we really want to take care of them because they give you beautiful skin, they're huge in anti-aging, and they give you healthy weight and amazing digestion. So your action step is you can go buy or make, which I have a tutorial on, some um, fermented foods and just start having them with dinner every night. And notice the, the difference in your energy and your digestion. Um, they take away sugar cravings. They are amazing. They will really protect you and strengthen your immune system. All right, those are the five main keys from the Body Ecology Diet. So we just have to remember to eat a healthy balance of expanding and contracting foods to keep our body in an op optimal state. Otherwise, we'll start craving certain foods if we're eating one too much of the other. We want to eat a good balance of acid to alkaline foods. So we want to eat about 70 to 80 percent alkaline foods on our plate and leave 20 percent for acid foods. We want to cleanse our body, so just take intentional time at least once a year to just cleanse our body and then when our body does get sick help it cleanse instead of um, suppressing it with medications. Then the 80-20 life so remember to eat until you are 80 percent full leaving 20 percent for digestion and energy and healing and fill your plate with 80 percent land and sea vegetables and alkaline foods and 20 percent acid foods and meats and grains and try, try, try just adding some fermented foods or drinks into your diet every day and just watch how it um, protects and transforms your body. All right, those are the five main keys and we will talk to you soon.